and welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to an antique store. We're gonna hit up a couple of them and then go to the Goodwill. All right, let's go. All right, so this antique store is doing a 50% off sidewalk sale and I didn't know that until I pulled up. I was so excited. So this is one of those um, vintage card tables I absolutely was in love with it. I love anything floral, and this would be for myself, not for resale. I'm looking it over. I'm thinking about it. It does have a lot of damage with the top part coming off. I felt like I could look past it. I'm thinking about it still, so we're going to wait on that. This is a stained glass piece. I don't know if it's uh, worth a whole bunch, but I really loved it. I love stained glass and this was so cute it says genuine antique couple it says been there done that still loving it's so cute I do pick that up and those <laughs> that was a picture of some cherubs with some beer and cigarettes some more pictures all right so here I am messing with it again I loved it, but it did have a lot of damage, especially with the legs, and I don't know how to fix that kind of thing. And it wasn't very sturdy when I opened it up and put it on the ground. This is a Mrs. Claus cookie jar. This, like, it looked from far away like a Pyrex piece, but it was not. And this is that hull like a butter dish that h-u-l-l -L, and i don't know if i'm saying it completely wrong but i would pronounce that as whole all right some more picture frames some wood pieces up here like for knickknacks and spice racks whatever you wanted to use it for this to me looks like you could use it in the bathroom or as a spice rack, but you would have it up against the wall because it didn't have a backing on it. Some more pictures. That looks like Jungle Book, but it's that swooshy material <laughs> where if you turn it, it like makes the picture move. I don't know the technical term for that. All right, so now let's go inside the store. I'm at Teaks. That's where I'm at right now, and they have a lot of good stuff. It's always changing, and they always have discounts. So I like coming in here. Okay, so this is a Care Bear squeezy toy. It was $8, but the squeezy didn't work. So I left it behind. Because I feel like people that want the squeezy toys, they want the squeezy toy to actually work. I could be wrong, but... Little vintage Fisher Price ball. I like that cow skull with the floral applique on it. But that would be for my house, not. <laughs> wouldn't match anything, but I liked it. Some Smurf cups, a little trinket box. All right, and this little section has like a million CDs in it. Uh, these are Furbies, vintage 1990 Furbies. They wanted 45 each on them. They're still new in the box, but I didn't grab these. I don't know if anybody else had Furbies that are watching this. <laughs> but I grew up with Furbies and mine turned on all the time in the middle of the night. So I ended up taking mine to my laundry room when I was like five years old and hiding it in there because I was so scared of it. <laughs> so I won't, I won't do Furbies. <laughs> this is a whole shelf of uranium glass and I didn't know that the satin glass back there could glow because there's a lot of satin glass pieces back there vintage Fisher Price airplane I like that clear where you can see the inside all right this is a fairy lamp it's that ruby red cut to clear um i don't know the maker of this one but when i looked it up it said check but i don't know specifically because there was no original tag it was 25 dollars, but i do end up grabbing that because it did sell for um on etsy it sold for a hundred dollars so i sell on ebay i like these too 
that was $80, but I was in love with it. And this is some green. It says $50 for the whole set, which isn't bad because you get the three pieces and the lid. So four pieces. These are abacus. I don't know how what you would say for plural, but um, those were new inbox, so I think maybe they got them on Amazon or something like that. A little Santa head <laughs> with no body. I like this back here, that chicken. It says it's a letter holder. I don't know. I left it, though. Let's see what else they have. I like this. It's a trivet. $8 or no, excuse me. $3 on the trivet. I really like that color. But I have a trivet at home that hasn't sold. So I put this one back. And who knows? Maybe that could have been a bad idea. But I put it back. Campbell's condensed soup sign. A Snoopy back there. Shot glasses. Some chalkware. This, um, they were selling them as a set for eight dollars, and this one hands were broken. I like this pitcher, six dollars. I think it might have been a hobbyist piece, I can't really tell on the bottom. And when I tried looking it up, I couldn't find anything like no mark or a maker, but I was just using Google Lens, so I don't know. Care Bear toy. I was looking to see if they have anything back there. I don't do a lot with toys with eBay, but if I do look at toys, it's mostly for my kids. I like these little poodles. Some Beanie Babies down at the bottom. I like this. It's plastic. I thought it was going to be a ceramic material, and it says Made in China. He had some wear on his butt, so I don't know if he was spray painted because on the back or on the bottom belly, it says leopard. And you know leopards are the spotted, but I know the black panther is technically in the leopard family, so who knows? Look at all these vintage Barbies up here. So I did look these up before I left them because I know some vintage Barbies go for a lot of money. This one was 32 or no, this one was 18. The one behind it was 30. But I looked it up before I left and they were selling for around the same price. But if I had it new in box, it would have went for a lot more money. That said Imperial Glass. It was a swan. Little oil lamp. Like a harvest design on it. This tin container said rubber bands and paper clips. I just thought it was cool. It was eight dollars. All right, so this is the little Christmas booth. I like that everything in this booth is just all Santas. <laughs> I like hers, Mrs. Claus, but it looks like she would have came as a set with like a Santa. This is a bell. I really liked this one. It was $12 for the bell. I looked it over. It looked really nice. And then when I put it down to turn it around, you could tell that it was chipped and then somebody had painted with a red marker is what it looks like. So I did leave it up behind. I like this 
<laughs> Little cowboy Santa. He's cute. $12 on the farmer Santas, it says. I like this little Dalmatian Santa with the little Christmas tree. He wasn't like a plastic. He was more like a resin, but he had some damage on his nose and his feet. I'm looking him over. So I left him. He was really cute, though. He was $4. Probably should have grabbed it because I know people like Christmas and people love their dogs. Some more Santas down here. Some of these pieces remind me of a Jim Shore piece, so that's why I always check the bottom. Because I know that they do um, reproductions. And this looks like those bobber things, because it has an anchor tied to it. I don't know, decoys? I'm probably, I don't know anything about fishing, so <laughs> I don't know. Vintage toys, some vintage um, cleaners and detergents up there. But it was just the box. They were empty. Some buttons. I don't know if somebody would buy buttons without the hook on the back. Because that's what was in this bag. Only a few of them still had the hoop. Or uh, I don't know. The little loop right there. Only some of them had that. So that's why I didn't buy that. But I know buttons can be worth something, but I don't know if people will buy the buttons without the hook on the back. Because there's no way to put it on there. Unless they're just using it to collect it. I don't know, let me know. A tea set, some more trinket boxes. A little globe decanter. I like some of those vases. I like that blue bud vase. Some wall pockets. A fit and glass basket. $30 on that one. Now some of this stuff I would want to just keep for myself and not resell. I don't know what this was. It looks like a candlestick holder is what... I would call that, and it says art pottery piece. This booth has a lot of plates and a lot of Pyrexes and the ceramic stuff over here. A little resin spoon rest with the butterflies and the pressed flowers in there, or dried flowers. Some shot glasses. I like this one. I just like the green. Greeting cards. I like these little cards. Anything with the red dot is a dollar and anything with the green dot is 50 cents. These say high speed on it. I did look these up before I left because they did look really nice. But they weren't going for a lot and they were already a dollar a piece. So then I thought about getting them for my kids, but I didn't want them to accidentally break them. My kids love cars and Hot Wheels, anything small like that. But you see that the wheels are really thin compared to a Hot Wheel. And my kids like to pretend to actually physically drive them. So I feel like they would just snap right off. 50% off this booth that was anything a pumpkin, fall, or Halloween style. And that lady makes them herself. Right now we have some amber glass. Um, they knew the sale value of these because they did show up on the price tag. This one was $6 for the little handled dish or sugar bowl, trinket dish, whatever you want to use it for. And that one was 18 for the small bowl back there, so I put it back. Some 
and a little tea set down there. And these are bags of candy. Metal section. I like those salt and pepper shakers. It has the wood base and like a ceramic porcelain topper. Really like that. And anything floral I like. But I left it. They were $4 for a set. It's not bad. But salt and pepper shakers I like to buy low. Lower than $4. That was 12 for the Buddha. And I don't know that um, material that those were in. That red material. It's not like a marble. It's something else. I like this satin glass decanter set with the shot glasses. And that was $30. Some more beanies. A lot of Beanie Babies. This is an Avon bottle. I'm always surprised whenever I pick up something like that and it's an Avon bottle. I love the copper little shot glasses. They were $3 a piece. Some longer burger baskets. This one I don't think is longer burger. It didn't have a name on it. It just said basket. On the bottom it didn't say anything. I like this very light pink. Absolutely love that pink color. Really cute perfume bottle, $12, no, $15 on that one. I like this green glass back there. And I like that the tags in this booth are heart-shaped. I think that's so cute. A cherished teddy, $5. So if you watched my video back where I got the basket of cherished teddies, I got that whole set for $9.99. And one of those teddies that was in there was that same one. That same style. I like this handmade in Spain cow creamer. Or I, you don't have to use it for anything. You can just... <laughs> Keep it on your shelf. It's so cute. I like this little picture or creamer with the dragons on it. It was really pretty. A Fenton piece, carnival glass. Paperweight, art glass paperweight, $8 on that one. There's that black glass again. I'm probably going to pick it up one of these days, but today I did not. So this is a section that I found a Staffordshire, England, a little saucer with a cat on it. So I was looking to see if I could find anything else by that Staffordshire brand because that sold immediately. Like as soon as I posted it, it sold. So I was trying to find another one. I like the orange and the reds too. VHSs. Fondue pot, that was cute. Again, some more of that blue and white. And that one was chipped. It says Delft on it. Hand-blown 
glass vases, no make no makers. So I wonder if these are hobbyist pieces that somebody makes themselves. Little orange swan. Twelve dollars. Looks like a handmade piece. And these are some vintage Barbie keychains. It's a seven fifty on them. When I looked them up, they weren't going for a lot. Some Hot Wheels. I like this butterfly. It's um, a Mexico piece. $5 on that one. A little marble piece. It says a bear, but to me it looks like a pig. I mean, I guess it could be whatever you wanted it to be. With the pointy ears, though, I thought it was a pig. I like these. <laughs> They're $40 for the mariachi band people for the whole set. I don't know what these are called. It's $12. The little legs go up in the arms whenever you pull the string. I know it's like a Germany piece. Stationary holder, 1970s, 750 with a unicorn on it. So I don't know if that was like really the original packaging or if somebody shrink wrapped it themselves. Some vintage cameras down at the bottom. more Hot Wheels. Again, I look at the Hot Wheels for my kids, not for resale. Baseball cards, I don't know anything about. And they were $1.50 each, or at least the ones that I saw. I know that some of them are more expensive. The little pumpkin holder, like a more modern piece because of the tag. This is an Avon. I'm always surprised every time I see something like that and it's Avon, but I'm starting to realize now the material that the Avon stuff is, and I can kind of tell if it's Avon or not. The ornaments. I like those Christmas 7-Up cups. I didn't see those before. I was there until I was watching the camera or watching the video. $12 on the deer and chained baby deer baseball card grab bags a lot of things to look at I remember the eight balls I know they still make them but it's fun let's see what it says oh. cannot predict now <laughs> Six dollars on the eight ball. I like this, but to me it looks like um, somebody painted it themselves. I could be wrong. Maybe it came like that. Little poodles. A bunch of poodles up there. I 
I like this paperweight. It was $22, though. It was really pretty on the inside. There's another trivet, but this one looks like a teapot shape. And it did have a lot of damage, like a giant crack going right through it. That one was $4 for that one. I don't know if you can see the crack, but it went all the way from the side to the other side. Some more little Hot Wheels. These are earrings. Probably costume earrings. They were a dollar for the bag. I like those green ones. That was the only ones I liked in there. But I don't wear costume earrings. It makes my ears break out. And this is it was a lighter, and I had no clue how you'd even use it. I like these little turtle squeezy toys. It looks like something for the bathtub. Pink Cadillac Hot Wheel, $3.39 on that one. Really cute. I like these donkeys. I just sold a donkey, but the donkey didn't have a man riding his back, and they wanted 12 for that one. I like that hobnail, $10 on that one. Vintage little Fisher Price toy. Votive holder, $2.50 on that one. I remember these, they came as McDonald's toys back in like 90s, the end of 90s and early 2000s. I remember getting those all the time. All right, so on this video, it's going to have to be a part two, but I'm going to show you what I got. All right, so I got this fairy lamp. I probably. I don't know the maker of it. When I looked it up, it said it was from Czech. Maybe because of that design, not for sure. It was $25 for this. I did look it over. That's like, it needs some cleaning, but I did look it up or look it over before I paid for it. Make sure there's no chips or cracks on it. And then I did get this. So it was only two things from that store. Look at how cute it is. You can see it. Been there, done that, still loving. It's so cute. It says TM on it, so I don't think it was like a handmade piece. Alright, thank you for all who is watching. And the next video will be the part two of when I went to the Goodwill. Thank you for watching. Like and subscribe.